I'm excited about all the women across America that are fighting for our cause. This year's election has been called the War on Women. With 51% of the voters being women, could the women's vote be the determining factor in this year's election? How can the candidates sway the women's vote to their side? Fair pay. Fair pay is, uh, we are still at 77 point, well, 77 cents on the dollar. Uh, fair pay is a huge issue. That was the first thing that Obama did in his uh, tenure as president was to sign the Lilly Ledbetter Fair Pay Act. According to exit polls, Obama captured 56% of women in the 2008 election. How can Republicans sway the majority of women this year? Jobs. I think they're going to say we didn't commit, you know, but I think we've got to get out the message that we saved jobs. Maybe not create so many new ones, but we saved a lot of jobs. The era funds, the stimulus funds, all these funds balanced our budget here. And we should say, thank you, government, you know, instead of cussing them. The population is 50.7% women. Uh, that women's issues have uh, become forefront because of what is the attack that has been going on on different women's issues for uh, reproductive rights, health. Health care reform is important to women. Young women voters could be key in this election with such issues as reproductive rights impacting their votes and futures. In a recent Pew study, Obama led Romney by 31 points when it came to the young woman vote. Republicans aren't planning on making it harder for women to receive birth control or to get those kind of needs that, you know, that a lot of women think that they have. Obama's support of Title X is very important to uh, women's beliefs. It seems like Republicans don't care about women's rights and I think that if they took the time to explain their stance and explain why they thought that way, um, it wouldn't be such um, an enraging statement that they had. Laura Smith reporting for Newsnet Nebraska.